Good evening. It is 532. Uh, this is the meeting of the Community Investment Program Task Force as authorized by Section 551.071 of the Texas Government Code. This meeting may be convened into a closed executive session for the purpose of seeking confidential legal advice from the city attorney on any agenda item herein. The city of Rowlett reserves the right to reconvene, recess, or realign the regular session or call executive session or order of business at any time prior to adjournment. It, there is a process for public input. If you are not able to attend in person, you may complete the citizen input form on the city's website by 3.30 p.m. the day of the meeting. All forms will be forwarded to the task force prior to the start of the meeting. For in-person comments, registration forms, instructions are available inside the city hall. Okay, no public comments. No public comments, thank you. Okay. So, first item on the agenda is approval of the minutes. Do everybody a minute or so to review them if you haven't had an opportunity to. Make a motion. We have a motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Okay. All right, next is subcommittee reports. Um, first on messaging, and, and I almost don't know if I want to keep this for a new business item, but we'll bring it up. So thank you for getting the, the latest results out to us today. Um, <clears throat> the, and not having the email right up in front of me, it was 65? Uh, 95 since 95. June 14th, so a total of 475. Okay, so I don't, we don't have any other events on the calendar, but that being said, at the same time, I don't know what our return will do. <laughs> do the month part. Okay. Do the month part. But that's. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that at outreach, I guess. Okay, so. Um, we we kind of looked a little bit at the survey results from the 14 six, or the 614 results, the original, original ones, and I think there's pretty clear indications on what the priorities are um, on the rankings with public safety number one. Yeah, public safety number one. Um, Animal shelter number two, public works three, parks four, city hall five, and library six. Uh, that's without the new data. So when we get a chance to look at the new data, we'll see if that trends any differently. It, it, it <clears throat> What's that? I have, I have. Okay. Um, one thing I couldn't parse out because there's a lot of text, so I'm going to have to do some different formulas. Is on the question of increase in taxes. I mean the straight. No's were easy, the maybes were easy, but the threshold for for what kind of that median is for people is still needs to be run by. So one thing we were wondering is to increase messaging. This this kind of is overlapping with outreach. So I think messaging is primarily going to engage and correct me if I'm wrong, when we present to city council and city council determines the direction, then our messaging really kicks in for the public. <laughs> yes, no, we originally, and we talked a little bit about this, when we originally formed those subcommittees, messaging was more about how are we going to message this process. Right. Um, but Laura and I ended up just doing it and getting it out so, so you guys can hit the ground faster. Um, I think once you present to city council, then we have to decide from there. So messaging now could be what does that, how does that presentation look to council? So it absolutely could still and probably becomes most important right between now and we think it will be about December the 8th when you give your presentation to council because there'll have to be, it'll be a joint med meeting where there will be discussion, it'll be a standalone meeting. Um, you guys will have 45 minutes or so to present your results and then council will dialogue with those results. So, um, 
you know, messaging could stay. Messaging was really, I think, originally set up as a subcommittee for the messaging of this entire process, right. but that kind of got pushed around. So. Okay. Yeah, because there's a lot of overlap with outreach, yeah. too. Yeah. Um, we did have a question. What would it take to get something on the Friday at 5? We're getting some repeating stuff on the Friday at 5 about um, the survey and the process. We can, we can um, ask Hannah. That's, those, they really only have about two minutes, so they do very quick stuff that's just happening right then. Um, but that doesn't mean that Denise could have put out some additional stuff. I can reach out to Denise and Hannah tomorrow to see if we have some additional outlets. Even like a, if we could get 15 seconds of the two minutes, um, because really it's, hey, you know, are, are you aware of what, what's, what are your priorities in the city? <laughs> Tell us what you think about this, and maybe you could just have a link to URL yeah. or something. So I'll talk to them. And they're more than just private <clears throat> lives. I mean, there's other, isn't she on my rail at kind of a blog or something? Um, the mayor has something. I know it's hit most of those yeah. things early on in the process, but I'll talk to Denise tomorrow and see if there's anything that we can just push. You know, by our November meeting, you guys are going to want to spend your November meeting preparing for your presentation Correct. to council. So we probably need to determine what that card we're not going to take anymore after this day because we need to start gathering that data and information and compiling it into something, a story that you can tell council at the joint meeting. Well, our next meeting should be on November 7th, correct? Right. So as far as getting additional stuff out, you know, I think a hard cutoff of November 1st is probably a good date. It's a good, you know, beginning of an update. Everybody agree with that for new results? But I'll talk to Denise and Hannah and see if they have any ideas or if they could send out one more push <laughs> and the newsletter and that kind of stuff. I mean, the like social media and potentially the Friday at 5, there's a newsletter that goes along with the video. So while they might not include it in the video, they could definitely include it in the version they attach. And then awesome. if we have our groups and stuff amongst ourselves, we can do a final push there too. I know I've hit my social media and stuff like that. We can hit it again. Angie, tell me, how many people uh, get the mayor's newsletter? I, I do not know right off the top of my head. Um, it's not a newsletter in the form of a newsletter necessarily anymore. Yeah. Uh, it has changed a little bit and it's mainly digital. Right. Um, I will tell you that the one for October has already gone out and is done. So he won't do another one until November. Yeah. The one in October focuses on the upcoming trash public input sessions. Solid waste public input sessions. Anything else on messaging? All right, outreach. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to recall the last time I went to a survey tent, and it's been a couple of weeks now, but I went today and there was no tent. So lunch on the lawn is not a tent. It's someone to come pick up the iPad and walk around. And nobody came to pick it up today. Yeah, there was a there was a couple missed, um, and then there was a couple where I just did a single. It, it's fine. Um, I know we're supposed to be in Paris. I mean, at the end of the day, you guys have 475 results. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I've heard Brian rattle off a number since the last time we did this, which would have been. September, and we've gotten how many more? Uh, September and October, we had about 40, and August, we had about 60, so about 100 since the first one. <coughs> so, yeah, so I I think our and then you still have to manipulate the data. I started that this afternoon, we've got a good start on it. So, do we want to stop now? And then messaging now says, Thank you for your response. We'll be presenting these, this information to council in December. Well, if we could get, I mean, if we have 445 now total, 475. 475, that's about half the number of people who vote in the election, so. Um. It's up to you. We're just throwing ideas out for this group to decide. Yeah, that, 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 that was kind of backhanded. <laughs> I mean, based on the number of events, we still may have and the opportunities, maybe we get another 50 or 60. I don't think that's going to be a sufficient number to statistically change the trend. Yeah, I don't think it is either, because with the one we just got, it doesn't sound like it statistically changed it either. Um, 
I will say that the lecture I'm on today was not very well attended in the sense of uh, residents. And so I'm not sure, even if we had had a uh, uh, setup, that we would have accomplished a whole lot. Lunch on the Lawn has a lot of people that come get their lunch and go, yeah, right? right. It's, some sit around and yeah. hang around and visit, but there are many more people that pull up in their car, order their lunch, sure. and take it back to work. Well, so there's nothing that says if we think we've got the data we need, yeah. and, and if we do another push, there's going to be limit, it's going to be diminishing returns anyways. Do we want to just say we'll cut it off today, and you know if somebody happens to discover it, we put one in. That's not going to be any big difference. I did notice though, unless I missed it, that to get to the survey, you have to go to the committee's actual page, and then there's a small link. There's nothing really out there that says, hey, tell us what you think. It's under news and events, but that rotates in a carousel. So okay. as things get added, it may bump it off the carousel, but it's still listed. When you click on all news and events, it's still there. So OK. OK. Well, so we just want to say this is our unofficial cutoff date today. We'll make an official one on November 1st, in case anything trickles in. But our consensus not to put hard push on it. I agree. OK. All right, so outreach, that was outreach. Anything on education? I think we're pretty much in. No, I mean, we were kind of thinking maybe doing uh, a follow-up video on, on the parks piece for Earth Park, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not, it, that's kind of low on the radar in terms of some dissipated effort. Mm -hmm. so. so I know you're just back, Laura. Um, could we get kind of a spin on that data, or you put some yeah, together? Yeah, I started this yeah. afternoon. Just I was going to say in, the last you know, hour, so. in a week or ten days or so, <laughs> and yeah. that way we get a chance to review it before we start the November meeting, where we really have to start. Definitely, I'll, I'll have it compiled and, and send it out to you before that. Um, one thing I did want to mention today is that, in my haste to get it out to you before today, I neglected to remove the um, demographic information. So please do not use any of that information in any form or fashion. Um, do not contact people because their their information is on there. So please just disregard it like it isn't even there. Would you prefer that we just delete the, the email and great. we wait for that everybody just delete the one you got today? <laughs> And, and we'll get it yeah, and and then I'll send We were both out last week. She was on vacation. I got Brian's email on Friday, and I was like, okay, I'll catch Laura. But I think it was like 2 o'clock before I caught Laura, and I was like, hey. And she's like, I haven't even made it that far down the list yet. I said, okay, well, when you get a second. Okay. Um, and we talked about this a little bit already, but discussed the timeline for presentation. You said we so had a date So we will December. confirm a date, but there is a council meeting on 12-6. Um, late may kick the back of my chair because we have not had this conversation with her yet. Um, there is a council meeting on 12 6. There is a council meeting on 12 13. And then we're done prior to Christmas. So Laura and I discussed today the potential, if council is available, to maybe have a special meeting on the night of Thursday the 8th. Those tend to work better, those Thursdays, when we have to have a special meeting like this. But that way, it gives you guys, you know, 30 or 45 minutes to really do your presentation, um, and then time for discussion. So those tend to be big joint meetings, which have a lot of conversation. We'll confirm location because it might not be in this room. Um, so. so I know when we present to council, um, we're going to have the data, and it's going to be. I don't even know if I can ask this question. You can what, ask me the question. What is the council? <laughs> what is the council looking for from us in the presentation? Just this yeah, is what the data presents. Absolutely. Uh, what opinions. The citizens said. Anything. Absolutely, what the citizens said <clears throat> and came back in the results of the survey. So that information is so critical to how they decide to move forward, right? Um, hypothetically, they have, could take that data and say, well, we're going to do an animal shelter and a city hall. I don't think that will be the case, but that could happen. But what you guys are truly presenting is, what is the priorities for citizens? What is their taste for a tax increase based on their taste for which facilities go first? 
and then the same for her. Those, I mean, you could pretty much follow, almost follow those questions just like you ask them um, with any commentary or feedback or, you know, whatever that looks like. Okay, very good. Right? Yeah, and while we're here, feel free to ask us yeah. a question or some questions about this. Well, that's why I turned this way. Yeah. But I would say the other thing is, since it'll be a public meeting, it'll probably be pretty well watched and viewed because it'll be a separate meeting, is what was the process? Yeah, absolutely. How did you right. reach out to people? How could people get involved? How, many How could people still in? get involved? How could people still look at this or put their input into it? Because, you know, you could knock on everybody's door and somebody would still say, I didn't get the information. And hypothetically, we can yeah, leave the so survey right. open. It, it doesn't have right. to stop. It doesn't have And I would recommend not yeah. taking it off and maybe even rolling it to the top every once in a while, especially if you get closer to this. Uh, but those would be the types of questions that would come out of it. How did you do the survey? Did you talk to the public? What did you hear? Go over the questions and then what was the overall feedback? Do we owe the public any feedback on the survey at all? at some point before we go to council? Mainly just the presentation to council, I would think. They share that information kind of in a confidential manner, typically. Uh, that's a large question, but like the folks that gave, are you saying the people that gave us their information shared just, that with them? Just a real summary, you know, we had 475 people respond. I think that's what we do at the council meeting. Yeah, okay. and so we'll be recorded. The presentation will be part of the meeting, so they can get it that way. Yeah. And I think presentation of the day is just going to be real, real eye opening. Yeah, absolutely. For all the councils. That said, there's probably a good chance that there'll be a good turnout for that topic. Maybe that's okay. Potentially. You know, Eric, a great idea might be to do new sub do new subcommittees where one focuses on one part of the presentation and another subcommittee focuses on the other part of the presentation. That way, you guys can have meetings and not have a quorum in any one place, so that when we come together on November first, you truly can. Lauren and I can help with merging those two, and then y'all can kind of walk through what that conversation looks like and make sure there aren't any holes or nothing's been missed. Let's let's do that. Um, I think that's a good idea. I, I think because based on the questions, um, we, we kind of had two key components there. Well, we have the method, the survey, and the methodology, which would be a good subcommittee they can brief on. You know, this is how we got the data. Um, this is how many people you can actually review the survey. You know, what it looked like and the layout, and then the actual presentation of the data would be another committee. It allows everybody to have a, have a handle on part of the presentation and everybody to be engaged in the process. Otherwise, somebody goes back and crunches data and puts something together, and it doesn't always work very well. We tend to do that with our awards and commissions because the liaison puts a presentation behind the scenes together based on information. So, the folks on our outreach, do, do you, are you guys interested in doing the method part of that? Sure. Okay. Is everybody on a committee? Everybody that's here? I think we have parsed everybody okay. out on the committee. I have a question to Laura. Uh, in that list of things that you said that came up, and, uh, you have the ability to go in and work on the survey, if it moves the survey further down on the list, can you pin it up so it remains at the top? Where's I don't understand what your question is. Well, okay, in Facebook, for example, um, when you get a message or a communication from somebody else, it moves, whenever you get somebody new, it moves the first one down to number two, and then subsequently all of them move down accordingly, unless whoever is managing that page pins a particular one at the top. Are you talking about on news and events? Yes. Well, when somebody comes onto the website in order for them to be able to take the survey. That's a carousel though, because if you pin it, nothing else will show up on the carousel. It's just a rotating. Okay, because I was wondering, I took the suggestion from Matt uh, saying that we should keep the survey open until yeah. at least November. Yeah. yeah. Denise, and I, I just sent myself an email to get with Denise and Hannah tomorrow to see what we can do to push it one last time, or a couple, a few more times, um, just to say, hey, this is out there, don't forget, here's the link. It is on the news and events. 
Um, our, one of our issues is we have so many events and news, right? Yeah. It's so hard to keep. <laughs> Every day it seems like we have a couple, but um, we can definitely have them redo a push. So. So, another the other committee is data analysis, and I'll be on that one. Anybody want to be on that one? Mike. I don't think we need a third, a wrap up or anything. Unless you'd like soft commentary, but I'm guessing probably just the facts. Did you guys do any, uh, like, sit down and talk with people, or was it straight survey? I mean, would you like, have, like, a quote unquote meet and greet where they could give input? actually ask a little bit more questions yeah because at the well not officially we didn't have like a, <coughs> an event just for that but when we were attending all the city events you know a lot of times you get into you know people would want more information about it or want to discuss it that, I mean whether you do it beforehand or after and I would recommend it's probably after this presentation I mean, the big sell is going to be after it's eventually set. Like, this is an important part. This is a very important part. But there's going to need to be a time hall or that type of an open atmosphere at some point. Because one of my questions would be when you're out there, when you were out here doing the survey and just to talk to people, what was the feedback that you got? Because it's one thing on a survey, but some people will give comments in a little bit different way than what is, what is on a survey. And I think we'll have to eventually do a town hall to, to this is very very important for setting the stage for what will eventually be a bond whoever's on there or not will be largely be determined by what the citizens get back now and that's going to be taking that and saying hey this is what we heard from you this is what we put it on now the education we need to push process. the education process and answer and making sure that everybody feels heard and got their questions answered yes. that might take a series of town halls well I, I, would, yeah, I was thinking of a, of a forum because uh, yeah. we can't do a town hall within 90 days of the election right. for the charter, so to call it a forum. <coughs> and, uh, However, legally, it gets yeah. put into it. It gives a little bit of ability to. Not just for this, but also the charter, um, the charter stuff. So if there's any questions, is it public on this and that? Yeah. A lot of that is going to happen, though, after December when <laughs> council decides <laughs> which direction they want to go. And then we can go out and you know, definitely help educate and push on that side. So, oh, right. so to that point, <laughs> after our presentation in December, what's the threshold or what's the time frame for council to make a decision for a potential one day? So February is the deadline to call a special election okay. for the May. Oh, for the May. So once once you guys typically what happens and it could change, typically once you guys have made your presentation, council will ask questions. And then at a future meeting, they will have a discussion where they narrow it down to these facilities and this amount, or these facilities and this amount. And then that's typically in a, a work session just with council, and then Laura calls the election. And once that happens, the then there's the education basic. process of, hey, this is coming. Hey, this is what you said. Here's where we got that. We didn't just pull the stuff out of the air. That's why what you did was so Oh, it's so important. 475 is huge, right? If you heard from 475 people that this is what they want, again, if that's half of what elected and voted in the last election, I mean, that's a big turnout. We do citywide surveys where we have 250 people that participate. 100%. And, and I think, and I haven't dove into, into the numbers yet, but the more that you can crunch out those numbers about the questions related to threshold for a tax increase to be able to pay for these because everybody all day long is going to go i want that i want that i want that but it really is going to come down to when the the rubber meets the road is is how what how how far are you willing to go because that's what we're going to be looking at it's pretty self-evident what the needs are and, and you know i think that's not going to change but what's really going to drive the decision making is what did you hear in terms of what their threshold is one cent, two cent, three cent, six cent, eight cent, ten cent, because that's going to determine what goes on there. Oh yeah, because if they say one cent, <laughs> and I know my, yeah, and, and, they, and they want a public safety complex, yeah. like, okay, well, and that, and that will tie then back into the education piece on the back end. We may push that, you know, it may come back and 
threshold was only X, but we know it's going to take Y to get that done, mm -hmm. then that, even though that maybe didn't come right out of the survey, that's going to drive what that education session is going to be on the back end. In our presentation, would you be expected to define public safety? You know, it's such a, a large, gray topic. And well, the, that's a specific public safety facility. So you may have missed some of our early meetings where we kind of went through okay. the specific so, so, okay, facility. Right, right, not for yeah. training, so yeah, it's, it's about the, the physical building. Okay. Could, could you resend out that presentation? Can we get a copy of the PowerPoint and that way we can yeah. review it again? Yeah, I think I can. <laughs> I don't think you were here. We went through a whole slideshow that kind of outlined specifically no, which, yeah, 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 did have COVID, which specifically, which facilities are what was housed in each. Yeah. Okay. You may, you may or may not have known this. The survey only went up to six cents. Yeah. Oh, it did? Okay. Yeah. It, yeah like, this in my mind, it would get nice to have asked to cover a couple of different projects, but it just went up to Yeah, and like to call it, the, you know, I saw a number of people who were willing to four cents or five cents. Yeah. So when this data all gets crunched, will there be percentages of, of out of the 475 is willing to do four cents? Four cents was the highest. It's right. It's going to be six cents. Six cents. Six cents. I thought I saw six. Not based on this. Latest data. Yes. No, there, there was an option to choose six cents, whether people chose six cents. Yeah, I like would filter on four and it was the highest <coughs> price of the second. Okay. So I could do that. It'll yes. Right. It will. That, it, will, it will have every single thing. Every yeah. single thing. This group can present that information however will best suit what council needs. So if, if you prefer, if it will help you, Mike, Matt, or Blake, to come in a certain manner, now is a great time to tell this group. So they can filter it that way. You know, 30% said they're willing to do this, and 20% I mean, I'll, said... I'll like to see as much data as possible. Yeah. So I think we also need to look at just some examples, because we had several, a lot of reasons, not a lot, but several responses where they would do their ranking over what was important, but then on the question, uh, a rate, they're like, no, not at all. They wouldn't have funded it. <laughs> right. And that's yeah. how that's you show those percentages, 100%, because we didn't really say, if you vote in favor of public safety, this is what you should do. If you voted, if public safety was number one, how much are you willing to do? And right. It was right. just a general, let's take your temperature and see how willing are you. Yeah, and of course, then we didn't know so we were going to reduce it by, what, six cents. Yeah. <laughs> that's the so, price that y'all beat up the electors. So, the way you'll get the numbers is this is how many ranked public safety number one, how many two, three, four, five, and six, how many ranked library one, two, three, four, and then how many people said no, no tax at all across the board, no, maybe, 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 no, you know, each of those are, it'll be completely broken out. Okay. Yeah, because I want to see, you know, I, I almost, the ones who did the ranking, but then said no, kind of pull them out of the statistical data. I'll, I'll do some messing with it, too. Um, and the ones who said maybe um, with the map, you know, just kind of see where the majority of the responses in general a yes with some rate, or the majority a no or maybe with no rate or some rate. And some, too, maybe skewed by who was named the group at the time and how we told the story. Right? If you tell the story, if you want this, we are going to have to raise taxes, right? Which is one of the things we talked about early yeah. on. So that that's part of what could skew data when you have a lot of different people work a boost. Yeah, and that's kind of what that's for that earlier question. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. after council makes a decision on what's going on the ballot, will this then turn into a, an education? Uh, I mean, because I, I, obviously we all have ideas. Uh, of how to educate or show people why. It would, kind of, it would kind of be similar, yeah. I'm guessing, to the bond committee when they 100%. do that. Yeah. Except this group will have a lot of in, a lot of responsibility in helping get the word out, right? Because it's going to be a big deal. Um, and so we're going to be asking people to, more so than we ever have with bonds, right? Typically with bonds, there's really not a tax increase to help fund that. Know with these, there will likely be that, and so it's going to be a big, big portion of getting out the word, educating, <laughs> not what is that word? Not um, uh, it's not flattering. <laughs> <laughs> That's a word. 
That's the only word I have in my head. That's not bad. Can I add a cake? Or fried rice. That's the only word I have in my head. And so that's, that's where it gets away from skewing the data with who's presenting it. Because everybody will have the same yes. script. And it will be no off script. It will all be education. Sometimes we get our time for stuff, but there's a good reason why we do it. And Denise, at that point, will put together flyers and brochures, and there will be a lot of stuff that comes out. But we do have to be very, very careful. And our bond council has to approve everything we send out and every word we use because of the advocating yeah. arm. So if they call, if the council decides to call an election for May, is there anything else on that? On that one? Oh, yeah. I mean, we're on the ballot? Yeah. We'll have council. Council. Yeah, free council. Yeah, we're not on the office. Charter. Charter. Okay. So it could be an interesting election. Yeah. Free council. If we get a cutoff on the survey, as I understood before, why wouldn't we use the tent at events such as the farmers market and the Arbor Day coming up and so forth to do educational presentation of some kind? Would that work? Would that be a feasible approach you know, to get the word out? My only recommendation would be let's don't do education until we know which direction we're going to go. So you guys are going to present to council uh, probably that first couple of weeks of December. Let's let council have that discussion and really decide what they want to do and then start the education push. Like I said, every single thing once we decide to have an election, every word we use has to be approved by our bond council. Because so, you know, if we decide to go with one or two facilities, yeah. then those are the ones we're going to educate people on. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to educate them on the entire, you know, all of our issues with facilities. So it would put council in a precarious position if we advocated for a library and that wasn't one that they, <laughs> you know, we educated and we educated them into how great we need a library and the council was a big that. So right. I think we let the data yeah. speak for yeah. itself and then. Role from there. Well, and if there is an election, you know, and, and we go against what the data is saying, then it just... It happens from time to time. I mean, council has frequently right. made decisions different than what CIPTF recommended because there's a bigger picture right. involved in the right. entire thing, right? Sometimes it happens. It does not anything against y'all. I've seen it happen with CIPTF. Laura and I both did it the last one. But it was because there was a bigger picture involved that maybe the CIPTF did have their pocket that council so happens. Anything else on the scheduling? For the next steps? Okay. Um, items for the next agenda. Um, I know several of us are going through are going to be going through the data and looking at it and send out stuff as, as we do that. But, Laura, you said you're going to be looking at too. One of the items I'd like to do is actually go through Absolutely. as a group um, to analyze it and actually be able to ask questions and stuff too. Hopefully we're familiar with it enough because uh, that's going to drive the messaging. And then, as we said earlier, since these committees don't need to have a quorum or anything, I, I recommend that we get together at some point. The only thing I would recommend is before you leave this room, have a date and a time you're going to get together because November 7th happens very quickly. Yep, yep. Um, and so you leave here and one week goes by and now you literally only have like 10 days. So my only recommendation is before you leave this room, have your subcommittee meetings set up and a location. And that way you guys know exactly when you're going to get together. And part of that education process for everybody will be seeing whoever's compiling data, those slides for that. So. so this is an agenda prep week for council, yeah. and with our new hours, we're yeah. not open on Friday. So um, I will hope to get you those final uh, the final data um, beginning of next week. Okay. I mean, we've got enough we can start to work on. If we get additional data, we can always just you know if we have the formulas and stuff, they'll be just a matter. Of your data. So did I understand correctly that these October meetings, let's not have a, a card out there or anything like that. My name comes up at least one more time, I think, in October. Well, 
I would say if we're if we're cutting it off and we still have it open, but it, again, it's not going to be enough to influence the outcome. I would say that because it's. I don't have people. Your attention to having I don't people. have the <laughs> meetings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so if, if you were signed up for is. something, let's take the time where we're signed up for something. Maybe have that committee meeting done that we need. Okay. We do it that way. Just, just so an option. If we can leave the survey open, I can work with Denise and Hannah to kind of do one last push. Yeah. But maybe instead of doing those events, use that time you would have dedicated to those events gathering for you guys to set up some of those subcommittee meetings because. We really only have two weeks, right? Because yeah. we met a week later, so. Any other specific agenda items for next meeting? Do we need to try to fill things in? Are we just moving forward? I think just moving forward at okay. this point is fine. Because we didn't, we didn't do alternate, so it's fine as long as we you know, have a form, so. Any additional business? You want to set up your subcommittee meetings times here? We can do it after we discuss after we meet or after we adjourn. So the only calendar meeting we have is November 7th. Are we discussing another meeting which we now did? Well, the one after that, well, okay. we're, we're discussing committee meetings, subcommittee meetings. Oh, we're not going to have another. Roundtable to go through data as a group. That will be in November. It'll probably be a longer meeting on the seven. Just remember, yeah. you guys can't but you're all on the, discuss. You're on the committee with me, so we can yeah. meet and go through it and crunch the numbers and stuff. So, all right. I just say I applaud you guys. You guys did an awesome job. Driving. They did. Awesome. It's odd, right? It's a different thing than what CIPTF normally does. Blake and I were talking about that at lunch today, and it's been a different experience because it wasn't the Here's all the stuff. Now you guys crunch the data about why it's important. This really, truly was a public input endeavor. And nobody can say you weren't there to get their public input because you have been at, I mean, I think it's important we tell that story. How many events did we do? How did the, um, you know, one of the subcommittees, how many events did you do? How many people were we seeing at those events? And I think that is critical. Some of them, you had the iPad. Some of them were way more impactful. July 4th wasn't. But some of the other ones you guys did, you got a ton of survey responses. So if, if a citizen didn't participate, they just chose not to. They absolutely. Because it they was available online. Increase. Huh? They voted for a 6-8 increase. They said they voted for a 6 <laughs> eight increase. If they didn't participate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can we survey the group and see who's interested in working on the two proposals so we can go? You already have names. Mm -hmm. Do you have that? Yeah, it was, well, I think we have some members who, who aren't on something. So the two were um, kind of the method and process. And who volunteered? I think I that remember. was the outreach turned into a method and process. Right. What I understood. So, so do we want to add anybody said. to it? So is there anybody who was on outreach or education who now doesn't have a committee position? I was going to work with uh, Bill, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's One new data. One new data. So. Okay. So. Where is it for? That's what I do all day. <laughs> <laughs> so. so Richard okay. and Richard and And we'll help Jeff. Laura if she has this information. That's why I was saying, if we can set this up while you guys are meeting, then there won't be any cross-contamination of accidentally four people having a conversation about their meetings get Right. <laughs> so I have Richard, Richard and Jeff for methodology and process, and, process. and then for data, Eric, Mike Bowles, and Brian. Yes. Okay. Uh, Eric, I'd like to say something. I encountered talking with citizens, they understood what the survey was about. But there was issues coming up about, for example, where would the police and the court building be located? And there were some challenges uh, with regard to that. Uh, Miller Heights being no in some cases. In some cases, yes. Uh, but, so I'm thinking that in addition to the complexity that's here with regard to the tax level, 
that citizens are willing to go to in order to construct something for the city. And the disparity between the animal shelter and courts and police is tenfold in terms of differential and cost. Uh, I can understand being able to handle the data for that, but I would suggest you be ready for that kind of question about where would you put this building? So we have to look at it ourselves. We absolutely will not be able to put this on a bond election without a conversation about where, because we can't take it any further without a this is where it will go. Okay. Because I, I understand you know, limiting our responsibility to talk about the process and how that was arrived at and then the, com the outcome from it and what it means to the council with, to have the citizens have say, a say in what, what they would like to see. Uh, and yet at the same time, have this little complexity here that uh, has not been addressed either by the survey, but I hope will be discussed in some way so that when it comes time for us to have that forum, we'll be able to have an answer. 100%. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that decision is going to have to be on the December 18th meeting okay. or whenever that is. I'm not, I'm not asking it will for be an answer. Part of their I'm just saying that when this they is have, something yeah. Yeah. I remember encountering when I was standing in a booth with Mike and uh, you know, it came up occasionally. No, that's when you're 100 percent Not in every case. You're 100 percent right. right. Following, right. so typically what happens is following the CIPTF conversation, like I mentioned earlier, council will have a work session where just council makes the final decision. And part of that final decision will have to be location. Yeah, because it's different than the regular ones, Jeff, because there it's like, Okay, we're going to vote tomorrow to rebuild the streets in this neighborhood. Right. It's like we don't have that question. But we can vote. The bill will have to be a location to have an accurate dollar yeah. 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 tag well, to whatever yeah. it is. Okay. 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 You know, we know what infrastructure is at one place. Well, yeah, we no move it, infrastructure changes. So, if you're talking about purchasing land, because now it's yeah, different. which is one of the reasons. Y'all, some of you may not know Jeff. Jeff is our interim director of engineering, so he kind of came tonight to listen because Jeff's who I'm going to call. If we decide on a location, he will actually he'll actually be the person that takes these projects forward. Design the whole nine yards will be done by our engineering department, um, or they will outsource it. But lucky Jeff. Yeah, Jeff will be. He looks excited. The bus. Thank you for being here, Jeff. Thank you for having me. Anytime. I know when we posted the videos, we did get a few comments on the Facebook thread and the YouTube thread, so I'm not sure. Some of them were around location. Yeah. So that's probably a source of. Well, I mean, what's. Once you decide what projects to go forward with, then that ultimately it's going to become a question. 100%. Because there are some that are, are just, like I said, and some are before. Anything else from our new thoughts? Appreciate all your all.